things that you can do are try to avoid being around people who are sick, uh, cover your cough, get your flu shot, wash your hands a lot, and don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth when you're out uh, in public. It's, it's respiratory virus season. Probably not a great idea to shake hands anyway. Um, you know, people started saying hello in different ways. Uh, fist bumps are maybe a better option than shaking hands right now, unless you have hand hygiene product in your pocket and you can wash your hands, but the person may be offended whose hand you've just shook. <laughs> so, um, and then you should expect that we are going to hear about cases. And at that point, you know, again, take, take, take a deep breath and think about, you know, your actual risk. And if you are, you know, God forbid it does expand here to Ohio and Toledo, and you are presenting with some symptoms yourself, don't go to work. And perhaps if you have a colleague who's at work and, oh, I have a report due, I got to turn in maybe some peer pressure to make them go back home and uh, kind of do so their own little self-isolation might be a good idea. So, you know, again, I think if it gets bad, it's really important for all of us to really think and do a self-check in the morning on how am I feeling and should I really go to work today and potentially spread whatever I may have to other people. Sometimes when we're anxious, we all know what our um, habits are of how we deal with anxiety, and sometimes they're not always the best. So this is just a good time to really reevaluate what does it take to stay healthy. That's the best thing. Not all of us are going to get sick. You know, if we're in a more susceptible state, we're susceptible to any kind of illness, and that includes COVID-19. So, you know, eating healthy food, trying to get enough sleep at night, doing exercise really looking at the things we need to do to stay healthy is probably the really best coping that we can do with this all throughout the experience here. Parental anxiety, grandparent anxiety, any significant adult's anxiety is very contagious to the child. And so if we're acting anxious or parents acting anxious, you know, the child's gonna think, well, there's something to worry about, right? And so we have to really monitor how we're responding to kids, how we're talking around kids, how we're acting, you know, if we're sounding kind of really panicked or anxious, the child is going to pick that up. So it's important to ask your child what they know about this, you know, what do they hear, what does it mean to them, you know, young children, the words we use have their own special meanings to children, so we need to kind of use their language to give explanations. Young children don't need extensive explanations about what going, what's going on. You know, just saying, you know, well, that's something that's making people sick, but, you know, we really need to wash our hands a whole lot. You know, it might be okay for a three-year-old or something, but certainly an older school-age child or adolescent, we can have more in-depth discussions with them. But it's important to have honest information, again, to make sure that they're not taking everything they hear in school, reading on social media, hearing from their friends or their brother or sister as, you know, the gospel truth or whatever truth. Um, you know, again, it's important to have factual information. Is there a seasonality to this virus? In other words, if I travel later in the summer, is there going to be less of a risk that I will try to get back, back from a place and get quarantined? I hope so. Everybody hopes so. But, you know, the answer is we don't know. Um, if you look, you know, there are warm countries where cases are being reported, right? So we don't know whether or not there's going to be seasonality to this. Um, and nobody knows exactly how long this is going to go on. It could go on for a while. So, you know, any predictions about that? I mean, I'm not going to make a prediction about that because I don't know. I hope it's all over within two months. Um, I don't think that it likely will be. So I think it, this is going to take a while. And just remember, as our spring and summer approaches, it becomes winter on the southern hemisphere. So, you know, based on flu, there is some expectation that it will rotate south and then as we move towards our fall and winter, it will reemerge back north. Again, I also hope it disappears, but seasonal flu tells us a lot about what's, what may happen. So I would say that every hospital in America is currently working on this problem and thinking about how to be ready. Respiratory viruses are incredibly difficult to contain, as we can see. Um, you know, I think that uh, the, some of the infection prevention measures are obviously working. We can see that in China. They have actually, the social distancing actually is, is helping to slow down the spread of disease. Um, if you look, there's case reports every day. The number of cases that are being reported out of China uh, have been going down. So that's, that's an important thing uh, to keep in mind. 
Uh, and I would only be going to an emergency room if you really think that you have an emergency. Um, go to an urgent care center if you think you know, that you're sick. If you have a travel history, if you've been to a place where, where there's cases or, you know, or where there's, when I say cases, where there's widespread community cases like Italy or Iran or South Korea or China, um, then you, know, you should call ahead and let them know that you have been to one of those places and that you're now having symptoms and you know, that, you want, that you want to be evaluated. If you're just having regular cold symptoms, I would encourage you to take some Tylenol, uh, drink some tea, get some rest. You know, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily go and get healthcare. I would get healthcare for things that you would normally go to the emergency room for. So I wouldn't be running out to go to the emergency room if you get cold symptoms.